A and K presents the food chain, episode two and A and K. From the sun to plants to animals, the food chain occurs. It basically transfers energy from one another, from the sun starting to plants to animals, and well, the energy just keeps on going. Even we are in part of the food chain. The food chain, well, occurs everywhere, and it just starts from our basic sun. Here's how it goes. The sun gives energy to plants, and the plants give energy to rabbits or whatever animals that eat them. And then, the energy keeps on going on, and an animal can eat the animal that possessed uh, the animal who ate the plant, and decomposers can take nutrients. There's also something called the apex predators. Apex predators are usually at the top of the food chain, which means they may take the energy last, basically. There's also something called decomposers, and it's basically an organism, especially a soil bacteria like fungi or fungus, and intervertebrate that decomposes organic material, or a device or installation that is used to break down a chemical substance. So basically, when an animal dies or whatever, and the, uh, well, it will, the bones will come, right? And now, these decomposers will get all of the, well, the good stuff inside of those bones. And it basically, like, decomposes it. It takes, like, almost everything out that helps them. There's also something called consumers. Me, you, Animals are all consumers because they take in energy. For example, look at this example. This lady is eating a sandwich. She's taking energy from it so she can have the energy. There is also something called producers. Now producers are basically flowers or plants. They produce their own food. They just take the energy from the sun and then bam, they produce their own food. As we can see, the, the animal kingdom has a food chain which basically organizes it. And that's it for today in A and K. In episode 2, make sure to watch my other video, The Animal Kingdom, which I like the part one. Please subscribe, like, share. Bye!